and good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. This is Joyce on Knowing Tarot. You know, um, I always try to say I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but when stuff's not right, it's not right, right? And so we know that there are many tarot readers, astrologers, uh, lawyers, many people that were knew that Kamala was going to win. And then she didn't. I've already said that. There is this energy that we knew. And now there's this energy. It's eerie. It's quiet. It's super quiet. As much as a braggadocious individual that Trump is, why hasn't he been loud and bragging? Why is he quieter than usual? Not that he's not saying anything, but he's keeping it quiet. And then I saw um, <clears throat> the president and vice president, Biden and Harris, out for a veterans celebration, and she's quiet. So last night I was looking at TikTok. I, I went from not knowing what TikTok was to enjoying it, most of it. But AOC came on there. And she let people know, calm down. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. And so I wanted to look at what does she know? And what she knows is there are a lot of people involved. People that want to hold their position. People that are in their emotions. She knows that right now, um, Democrats, Harris, Biden, are working behind the scenes. Working behind the scenes diligently. She knows that Harris is in her mind. She's in her mind. She's a Gemini rising Libra. That's the way, that's our safe place that we go to figure this out. She knows that there's more going on behind the scenes. And that we are going to come to find out what that is. AOC always reminds me of like a page of swords or a princess of, of, of uh, not page of swords, but page of wands or princess of wands where she's always coming with news that is like good news, interesting news. And so she is letting us know, calm down, calm down. And I agree. I think that a lot of people forget about manifestation. And I always tell my kids that if you want something and you think on it, right, that's like watering it. And if you don't want something and you're thinking on it, you're watering it. And you think about all, every time you turned around, every news station, every paper always had uh, news about Trump to Trump to Trump to Trump to Trump. Yeah, he's a caricature. He's a clown. He's fading. He's fading off this planet. His health is poor. His mind is unclear. And yet, they had us constantly looking at him, constantly thinking about him, getting in our emotions because our emotions manifest things and getting crazy and getting mad about it. And AOC is right. She says, calm down, calm down. There's a lot going on. There is a lot of responsibility that is put on Biden, or excuse me, well, Biden too, but Harris really to say, we're going to make this right. They, they do have a plan. They are thinking this plan out. They don't want to jump. Number one, they don't want to seem like the J6 folks. You know those folks. They don't want to do that, but they are in a sense. They're doing it on an intellectual level. They're doing it from the inside out. They're doing investigations and they're asking hard questions and how could this be to a point we're going to end up being happy but we got to want and we got to wait to be happy the other thing I want to talk about is in my last reading if you watched it there was a card in there that was called the hackers and then I knew oh this is an internal thing this is a computerized situation that happened and only to find out and I might have this wrong that um, Elon Musk had Starlink, one of his satellite situations, attached to or coinciding with the voting machines in the swing states, 
primarily so that he was able to determine who was going to win like five, four hours before the election ended. He already had determined who was going to win. By what I'm hearing, it's alleged taking those votes, taking uh, a percentage of the votes that Harris got and, and keeping those and getting rid of the rest of them and or giving them to Trump. Trump already can't hold water and spoke about some secrets they had going on. There's a secret. We got a little secret. The little secret and why he's so quiet is he knows if he gets caught because he's already getting sentenced in a couple of weeks. So if he get caught with this, this is like curtains for him. But let's look at Elon Musk. What role did Elon Musk play in this election? I hope you guys can hear me. What role did Elon Musk play in this election? Show us the little secret. thought about this. He really thought about this election. I think more so than any. And in the sense of how can it help me? How can I get more money coming to myself? But like in a solo and independent way. I don't want to share it. I don't want to be a part of a group or collab or anything like that. How can I get it for me? And it was to make a change. <clears throat> a transition in the way that the votes were counted, in the way that things were were looked at. He created this scenario, and this is alleged, okay, this is just psychic readings, this is, it's not real, okay, because I don't want anybody coming for me, but he made it in a way in such that he took on the burden and responsibility of, I'm going to make this happen for Trump. They had a deal, a deal, a conversation. I'm going to make this happen. It's all about money. Let's be clear. Follow the money. I'm going to make this happen for you, and you're going to do things for me on a financial tip, whether it's tax cuts or whatever it was, whatever it is. But this is about, let me make this happen for you. I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to lay low. You're going to shut your mouth, and I'm going to make it happen for you. And it's going to be in a way where it's undetectable. Except it's not undetectable. And that's the TikTok people. The TikTok people, the YouTube people are like, nah, <laughs> there's no way. There's no way. Now, did we have dishonest people where they came to the rallies and stuff because it was going to be a concert or Beyonce or Lady Gaga? I was watching them all. Were they going to be there? Some of those were that. Some of those were there. I want to hear what you have to say. Some of those were independents. Yeah, I heard what you have to say, but I'm still going to Trump. Misogynist. There is a shift. It's not coming. It's here. And you're either with it or you're not. There is a shift. There is a strong feminine energy. Feminine power is coming to the light. And you have nothing to do with it or be on the outside or go with the flow with it. Women are leaders in many countries. And they have been leaders forever in different communities or tribal communities. And that's what's going to happen. That just is what is going to happen. Regardless of how many plots and schemes and whatever you come up with, how much you was working with people, you were working with people. He was working with people. He had people excited. And I'm going to venture to say, even the guy, uh, Ali something, Ali some guy, he's some wealthy guy. You guys know I'm talking about. They did a raid on his home. He does like food packaging marketing for like Whole Foods or Farm Fresh Foods. But what he really does is computer technology behind the scenes. He got excited with him and Elon Musk talking and giving Trump the after news that he never said, no, I don't want to do that. I'll be legitimate. He didn't do that. They decide what they're going to do that's going to cause the 
the situation or the election to go in their favor, but they didn't realize people are woke. I don't know what woke means to you, but woke means that I see through everything. The veil is thin. Don't play in my face. I know better. And she does too. She went into her analytical aspect. She had to think it through. She needed a time out to think it through. What's our next step? And there was a huge wake up call that now justice is getting involved into the say, uh, uh, another thing, stop talking about him being president. He's not our president. He's not the president. He's not the president. He's got a whole, uh, sentencing coming up in the next week or two. But there is an awakening that people are waking up and saying, no, I'm not just going with anything that you say anymore, whether it's the media or anybody else. I'm not, no, I'm doing my own investigation. I'm looking for myself. What will Biden do? Biden, 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 Biden. Take the power that the Supreme Court gave, meaning to give it to Trump, but you got it right now. You can pass it along. I feel like he would do that. I feel like he would pass it to her, claiming tired, exhaustion, what have you. Biden, will you do that? Biden, will you do that? Oh. So, first of all, with Biden, there is a desire to hold on. Hold on to what's mine. I thought I should have been president when I was vice president. Now I'm president. Now I don't want to give it up. Y'all ask me too much. Y'all asking me too much. You're asking me too much. But then he starts to look at what's going on. He's getting clarity. He has to have his alone time. He's getting clarity. He's going to do his duties, whether it's going out to the veterans memorial and all of that. He's going to do his duties. But truth and clarity is coming into his mind. And he's really big on fairness and balance. But this isn't happening. So now he wants to work on what's, what else can we do? He's not going to leave her hanging. I'm telling you, he's not. What else can we do? What else will we do? We're going to move ahead. We're going to move ahead. And this is what we're going to make happen. Yeah, he is. He's got a lot of hope and faith in this lady. He knows that this is the lady. He knows it inside himself as clear as I know that that election was bogus. If it had been, maybe she didn't have a lot of support. She didn't have a lot of people come out to vote. I would have accepted it. I would accept it. That's fine. He Then Trump won. But in this case, even Biden is saying, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. I'm not accepting this. And this is the Aquarius card, by the way. And we are coming, Pluto is coming right on back into Aquarius. And he's right where he needs to be to say, no, I'm not doing this. I got something else in mind. I got one foot on in the grave and one on the banana peel. I'm put it like that. So I'm going to do what needs to be done, which is the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give her six of pentacles. I'm going to give her what she earned to begin with. I'm going to give it to her. I'm going to pass it to her. Yes, I am. And I'm being peace. This is temperance. I'm going to be in peace about my decision. I'm going to be in peace. And I'm going to feel good about my decision. That's what I'm seeing happening. All the shenanigans that they played on the back end, on the quiet end, on the internet, all of that, on the Starlink and the satellites, all the stuff that they, that if you remember Powell, remember that attorney Powell, that lady was saying that we, there were satellites changing stuff in China. That's how Democrats won. They turned around and did exactly that. That's what they did. Point blank and simple. And then we have Scorpio. Scorpio, birth, death. I'm going to change how things go. I'm going to change how things go. Yes, I am. And then I'm going to walk away. 
Now, I don't have this set up. I'm pulling this as they come up. I'm going to walk away. I'm not going to necessarily feel good, but what I want is to go back to a peaceful life. A peaceful life. A life full of love, my family, for my last days. He will stand in the history books as the most consequential president of our time. Forget Obama, Bush, it will be him. He's not thinking like that, but it is. There will be a huge tower moment. Why? Because he's going to change every motherfucking thing. Oh, excuse me. Everything, excuse my language, he's going to change everything. He's going to change everything. But you got to give him some time. You know he don't have a lot. But it's coming. When is it coming? When is it coming? Well, Tarot is not great on time. But it definitely looks like it'll be fall. It will be fall. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to go rest. But anyways, I wanted to look at that. AOC is cool. I don't have nothing against her. I like her energy and her passion for right and wrong. And she kind of knows that there are rumblings in the background. She doesn't know what they are. She's not privy to that. But she knows there's rumblings in the background. Elon Musk and that other guy, Ali something... They did what they did. Now, you got every federal government agency that has to do with law and order at that guy's house. Mm -hmm. They already know. They already know. But they can't tell us, right? They can't tell us, but they already know. They're on their J-O-B. You better believe it. Elon Musk, you better watch out. I think I'll do a video on you tomorrow, Elon. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for listening. I love you guys so much. Let's, let's stay optimistic. That's my favorite word. Let's stay optimistic and gratitude. Be grateful for every little thing that you got. Have a great day. Bye.